What's going on guys, Dean Ninja here, and welcome back to Arena EDH. Here I analyze the pros and cons of a commander on Arena. I give you the bones for a basic deck, and then I give you my final thoughts and grade. And today's commander is the Scarab God. The Scarab God is a popular commander in CEDH, otherwise known as Competitive EDH, and honestly is quite powerful in that format. Is he just as good or better in Historic Brawl? Well, let's find out. So first up for the pros, he's very easy to build and play. With the Scarab God, you want to build Zombie Tribal, but except for having like a Zombie Lord, you have a weird Scarab Head looking thing. Number two, Disrupts Graveyards. So the Scarab God makes Zombie Tokens depending on what you pull from a graveyard and for some decks that can be very detrimental and number three the deck is very competitive i'll cover that a little more later but just know this deck is quite competitive and for the cons probably the biggest con is it's bugged on arena y'all can let me know in the comments but maybe there's something i just don't understand but with the scare god's second ability when it's destroyed, it goes to the graveyard, then the next turn you get it back to your hand. So this works when he's in the 99, but not when he's your commander. So like I said, maybe there's a weird ruling I'm not getting. And this does apply to all three of the Egyptian gods. Number two is not budget friendly. You're gonna have to be running a ton of rares, a ton of mythics, and yeah, on arena, with the card economy and all that, it's something you're either going to devote 100% to or not at all. And number three, one of the biggest cons to most arena decks, well, commander decks in general, absolutely no versatility. So essentially you're playing, like I said, in the pros, zombie tribal, but with a weird scarab man. So the bone to a basic Scarab God deck is, like I said, eh, twice now, <laughs> if you're keeping count. It's Zombie Tribal, so pretty much you're going to be building Zombie Tribal. So first up, and probably the best card in the entire deck, Necro Duality. Whenever a non-token zombie enters the battlefield, you make a copy of that creature. So I don't really need to explain how good this is and just zombie tribal in general but with the scarab god it makes it even better next up we gotta open the graves whenever a non-token creature you control dies you make a 2-2 black zombie token even in like non-token central builds this card still has a slot in a scarab god deck mainly because you can pump out a ton of tokens very quickly Next up we got Reflections of Lit Yara. When it comes into play, you choose a creature type, and whenever you cast a spell of the creature type, then you copy that spell. I see this card mainly ran in the token variants, but even in like a normal mid-range control style, it still has a place, and I highly recommend this card. Next up we got Diagraph Colossus. When it enters the battlefield, it gets a plus one plus one for each zombie card in your graveyard. And whenever you cast a zombie spell, you make a 2-2 black zombie token tapped. So the main reason I really suggest this card is because it can facilitate every playstyle of the Scarab God. If you want to make tokens, he does that for you. Or he can drop in late game and be a huge beater. Next up we got Gleaming Overseer. When Gleaming Overseer enters the battlefield, you amass one. Also, zombie tokens you control have Hexproof and Menace. I highly recommend this card if you're going for more of a token build, but you might be able to find a slot for it in a regular build as well. Next up we got Lord of the Accursed. Other zombies you control get plus one, plus one. And for one in a black, tap Lord of the Accursed, all other zombies gain menace till the end of turn. So it doesn't really matter what style of Scarab God deck you're building, this card always has a slot. Next up, we got one of the newer cards, Champion of the Parish. 
Whenever a zombie enters the battlefield, you put a plus one, plus one on champion. This card is very simple, very straightforward. All you want to do is play zombies, and that's all you're going to be doing is playing zombies. So this card is going to get out of hand very quickly unless they have removal. Next up, we got Grim Tutor. Search your library for any card, then put it into your hand, you lose three life. On Arena, we don't have access to a lot of tutors, so running this one is always welcome. Finally, we got Vanquisher's Banner. When it comes into play, you choose a creature type, creatures of the chosen type get plus one plus one, and whenever you cast a creature of the chosen type, you draw a card. This card will keep you churning through your deck so you never run empty handed, and it also gives you a handy boost. So you couldn't really ask for more. So now it's time for some grazing. As a commander, the Scarab God, his ability is very, very powerful. Depending on how many zombies you have out, you can burn your opponent out of the game, scry your entire deck, and he also makes zombie tokens. If it wasn't for the fact that He's either bugged or there's some ruling I don't know about. Like I said before, I'll leave it in the comments. But for ability, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5. So for effectiveness, I'm going to give him a 4.5 out of 5. He disrupts graveyards, burns your opponent out, and you cannot ask for anything more out of a commander. For consistency, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. We're playing Demir Colors, so there's no reason why... We should have anything less than three to four cards in our hand at all times. For power, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. We can swarm the field very quickly and we can burn our opponent very quickly, but we do need quite a bit of setup and we're mostly gonna be having out two two zombies. For recovery, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. We are playing Demir Colors, so we do have a lot of ways to reanimate, to really shuffle them back into the deck so we should have no problem recovering after a board wipe unless they're exiled overall i give the deck a 8 out of 10. i could see why it's very high on competitive edh lists it's a very fast very fun deck to play that can just easily burn your opponent out swarm them however so overall i really don't have a whole lot to say about the scarab god that really hasn't been said before. With something like the CDH list and whatnot, you see the Scarab got quite high, and if Historic Brawl ever did get a dedicated meta, I think the Scarab God would be quite high as well. I don't think it'd be right alongside the first sliver, which seems to be the best deck in Historic Brawl at this time, but time will tell. But anyways, I'm D Ninja. And I'm signing out. Bye-bye now.